now I'm back in the Abdul Musawir Muhammad, always good catching up with you. You know, we've seen you a lot on the Hustle Box brand. Mm -hmm. um, fighters from the Mayweather gym love you, man. They always talk about you. Whether you in the gym or out of the gym, you always get love there. Um, your connection, you know, first to the Mayweather gym, boxing in general, where does your love come from for that? Well, um, it's kind of hard to really say, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, me as a black person, born here in America, in the, in the streets of hard knocks, fighting is always in our blood. It's in everybody's blood, you know what I mean? So everybody got a certain acquired taste for boxing and the sport of fighting and boxing. And uh, what really, to be honest with you, brought me into it was the main brothers. Now, I mean, I would have never been thinking about boxing, fighting, training, or none of that if it wasn't for me living on the same block as, as the Mayweather's. And when I go down there to visit them, it, it just brings the best of me out, you know? You know, like um, if you hang around the blacksmith who make horseshoes and burn and kindle the fire, at the end of the day, if you're around this guy all day, at the end of the day, you're going to smell like a blacksmith bunch of smoke. But if you hang around the person who make colognes and oils and beautiful fragrances, at the end of the day, if you're around this person all the time, when you when you come around with people, they, you're going to smell like them. You smell good because they rubbed off. And I just really went in there to, to pursue my barber career as a barber to cut hair. That's why I went in there did. I was giving Roger Mayweather haircuts, Jadion and all them different guys. Was They seen that I cut hair good. And, and they started giving me plays, and I became, I showed them that I was better than the guys that were I started cutting hair. And by being a runner, I never seen boxing. I never, boxing. Been, I never been in the gym before. I never even put on gloves before. And when I came in and I started seeing all this different stuff, it just rubbed off. Now, I tried the boxing thing. Guys was hitting too hard. I was getting hit, and I couldn't. It wasn't me, because that stuff hurt. You got to be a strong individual to take that brutal punishment from mm -hmm. another person in the ring. So I tip my hats to them guys that in there boxing and spawn all these great champions and they never been heard of. But these guys is good. So I tip my hats to them. Where does your skills as a trainer come from? How did you catch on to it so quick? I just started counting punches. I just I just was looking. I seen something that I like. I had a desire for it. And I knew that I loved this. Now I mean I knew that Plus, as me being a person that like to hustle and make money, I'm a type person. I want to see where the money is at. You know what I mean? I don't want to be expendable. I want to be a person that see where the money at and try to make that money that they making. I look at the trainers. I want to do what they doing. And they was having fun. They had to worry about getting beat up, hit on. People just hitting their mitts and their gloves. And, they, and it's basically all recreation. Some was doing it with rhythm. Some was doing it with killer instincts and skills, and some was just in it just for showboating. So I knew that that was for me. So I put on the mitts one day, I tried it with a couple of guys, and I seen how fun it was. Then I knew that in order for me to be great, I had to watch the great champions. So the rest of them guys in Floyd Gym ain't madder than me. If I wanted to really learn how to work them mitts, my focus was on Floyd Mayweather because he was the best in the game. So I watch his work ethics, how he work out, how he train, you know, how do he condition himself, the things that he ate, the people that he be around, his circle. And I seen that he was around a good um, band of people that had, his, that, had, that had his back, that had him in all different levels of boxing and training. So I studied this, I watched Roger Mayweather, I watched Floyd Mayweather pop, I watched the guys that train him, Nate Jones and... Uh, the, the different guys that, that was his close friends who work out, train real hard, J.D. Tommy Hill, uh, Memphis, um, Zach Cooper, uh, what's the other guy now? He funny, he funny, he a champ too. E. Yeah, Smith. Yeah, yeah. And I watch these guys, man. They, and I learned so much from being around and watching them train and looking at them. I look at these guys, they gave me heart. Now I'm saying, I ain't no pussy no more. I'm out of the pussy game, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, them dudes give me heart, man. And, you know, I was a scary dude. People running, chasing me all the time. But I come in that gym and I seen my way out of all that, how to learn how to fight and hang around these guys. This stuff rubbed off, man. And, and I'm shocked myself. I look at myself on camera and video. I, you'd think I was doing this stuff all my life. You know what I mean? 
I ain't never pulling a pair of gloves, and I got some of the best trains in the world. Tell me, I'm better than the cats that have been doing this. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. And it's crazy, and that shocks myself, man. And I really love this stuff. Now, nah, man, I got a gift for it. It's my calling. And I just want to train and help people, man. I do it for free. The same way I feed people on Sundays. I do all this stuff from my heart. I love it. I do it for free. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's not about me doing it for money. It's just the rhythm. Because I like to play coons and drums and make music. And I see that it's all about rhythm. And, I, and, and styles make fights. And my rhythm makes styles, which make, brings out great fighters. I don't have no champions or no fighters or nothing yet. But, you know, I'm in the game, man. I'm in the car with everybody. I'm in the house, man. Everybody love me. I'm a hell of a barber. Can't nobody touch me, man. I can cut your hair with a broken piece of glass and a toenail clipper. They can't touch me. You know what I'm saying? And now you see me working these mints. Everybody like, man, you good. You know what I mean? You creative. Because I, I create different stuff. I'm look, I'm like a musician, man. You know what I mean? Playing keys on the, on the keyboard. And I, and I study this stuff, man. It's just it's so interesting, man. So enthusiastic. So enthusiastic. And it, I mean, it just inspired me, man. You know, it's like watch, watching Michael Jackson, Jackson dance, you know. That's how I feel with the mitts, man. I'm doing the moonwalk. I'm doing the electric slide and all that, you know. I'm playing the kungas, the old wine, wine code, the 6'8". Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's religious. All our great prophets, you know what I mean? All of them, from Abraham to Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon all these prophets. All of them was great strategists. You know what I'm saying? They they prayed with swords and knives and, and spears. You know what I mean? They all knew how to fight, and this is what they did. They fought. You know what I mean? They trained their tribes. They trained their nations. You know how to uh, how to fight, man. So it's a part of the practice of us as human beings to to spar. You know to to train to get in good shape. This is we 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 we, we what Floyd and them doing. They doing what our forefathers did before. Know what I mean? You get blessed for spawning and teaching your kids how to fight. So this is this is all blessings. Because we following what our forefathers did, the prophets did, the kings and the queens. Know what I mean? They had to go out there and get their own tigers, their own skin to make their own drum. Know what I'm saying? They had to fight. They had to learn how to fight. They had to be good strategists, how to take over wars, you know. Uh, in Africa, we come from Africa, it, you know, it was black on black crimes. Because they, they, there was tribes against different tribes. They had, they, they captured people. You read the religious books, all of them fought. It was wars. So they had to practice for these wars. They had to learn how to fight. They had to have trainers. You know what I'm saying? The same thing that's going on in the boxing ring today. And this is what inspires me because I know it's a part of religion, it's a part of our culture, it's a part of our history. And I'm around people that make history.